I'd like to show you how to do what's called a screen capture, that is to take your screen or any part of your computer screen and put that into PowerPoint or any other program of your choosing and that this can be done without the use of Snagit or any other uh, software that you need to download or install or pay for. And certainly many of those programs offer extra features that could come in handy but if you don't need them there's no reason you should pay for them. Now I'm capturing right now only a small portion of my screen. This is so that uh, due with the limits of the size of YouTube videos uh, I don't want the uh, I don't want it to become so compressed that you can't see what's going on. So uh, I should be able to do this in a way that uh, you can tell what I'm doing even though you can't see my whole screen. So the first thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is just press the print screen button on my keyboard. If you look you will find a key on your keyboard that says print screen or sometimes it's abbreviated PRTSCN or something like that. I'm just going to press that key and nothing appears to happen and now I'm going to click on my start button and I'm going to go to all programs and accessories and in accessories I have paint. In paint I'm gonna go ahead and click on edit paste and what do you know in Microsoft Paint now I actually have the entire contents of my screen. I'll scroll around a little bit so that you can get some idea uh, but simply by clicking on paste here uh, we can now see everything that was on my screen in paint. Now that it's in paint I can go ahead and select some tools uh, please go ahead and select a different tool other than this one even if you're not going to uh, make any of these sort of modifications uh, there's a reason why. If you need to go ahead and then select this tool immediately after go ahead but uh, at this point I can go into my screen and I can for instance draw maybe circle something in red let's circle that that's not very good so I'll undo it and we'll make the line size bigger here and we'll circle it again that's more prominent maybe I want to point an arrow at this item here I can do that and well you get the idea of the types of things that I could then do uh, I have all these tools that I could add little features uh, or emphasis uh, to whatever it is that I had on my screen that I want to then put into another program for a presentation or whatever. When I'm done I probably don't want to have the entire screen in my presentation but just the part that matters. Uh, perhaps in, in your presentation you'd want to show the whole application in this case Outlook but as we can see this is uh, actually larger than what you can see in this video so I'm just going to select a portion just for example pur purposes of this video. I select this tool right here which is the um, tool to choose uh, a selection within paint and this is how we're basically going to crop uh, our, our screenshot. So now I can draw a box around the area that I care about and I can click edit and copy. At this point I can go ahead and close paint. Uh, you may want to go ahead and save uh, your screenshot in case you want to come back to it and do something else. I'm not going to do that at this time. Now for example let's go ahead and open 
Microsoft PowerPoint. Again, my PowerPoint is very large. Let me get down to a size where you can see it in this video. And uh, let's get rid of that. Let's go ahead in Microsoft PowerPoint and click Edit, Paste. And in fact, you see that that selection which I had copied out of Microsoft Paint is now in my PowerPoint presentation. And in fact, I can resize it if I want to and move it around on the slide. Uh, and whatever I need to do, I could take my little text field here and put it below and say this is my screenshot and now I have a PowerPoint slide with some information from my screen that uh, may be pertinent to my presentation. That should be all you need to know about screenshots. Certainly if you need more features than what I've shown here then uh, purchasing WinSnap or Snagit uh, or one of those softwares may be wise for you but if I've shown you as all the features you need or more than all the features you need uh, then save your money you don't need to purchase those programs Microsoft Windows already has the tools built in that you need to do this